Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the farm. Um, there's been some changes. <laughs> surprise, surprise again. Um, I've actually spent about 15 minutes this morning already recording, and we ran into a major, major issue with the other stone picker we had. Uh, most of that being that it would not work no matter what I did. Uh, I could not get it to work, so we returned that one, we went back and we leased this one for a much, much bigger price, so I'm hopeful that this one's going to work, but I noticed when I hooked it up at the store that I was having problems. It would not hook up any of the hoses. I don't know if it doesn't have hoses. See, it's telling me to turn off the stoner before I hook up the hoses, and the stoner's not running, so um, I'm really confused. So hopefully this one is going to work because I'm already ready to snap. Um, so let's, I think this one can unfold. Yes, so let's unfold it. And it's not unfolding. Let's lower it. Okay, well, everything's working. It's lowering. This is good. So let's get into the field and see if this is going to work. As you can see from my other tracks. We, uh, we were out here once already, and yeah, see, we're driving over stones, and we're not picking up any stones. Ay, caramba. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves back the money that we leased this equipment with, and we're going to get rid of this equipment because it's, it's not doing anything. It's not picking the stones. It's just driving right over them. And it's not like these are stones that can't be picked. They definitely... Oh, there we go. It just finally picked up something. We've got four liters in the bucket. Are some of these maybe too big that they can't be picked up? I'm trying to drive for the smaller stones. I've never seen an instance where stones can't be picked. Like, this is really, really bizarre. Hmm. I don't know, folks. I'm at an absolute loss as to why in the hell this is not working. I really have no idea. I guess there's only one other thing to do, and that is we can get uh, a bucket for our front end loader, and we can uh, try and scoop the stones with the bucket. I mean, I'd like to have a bucket anyways for when we're moving stuff around that we need a bucket if we want to dump crop on the ground, or we have something else come up where we need a bucket. So. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we'll drop off this useless stone picker and we'll get ourselves a bucket and see if that's going to get the stones out of our field. So, you know what? It's a glorious, glorious October morning where absolutely nothing in the world is going right. Two stone pickers down. Let's see if the bucket's going to work. I'll bring you back when we're ready to give her a try. All right, folks. Well, here we go. It's time to test and see if this is going to work. I think something is really weird with the stones in this field. Something like I've never seen this where nothing works. I can't even pick them up with the bucket. Well, thankfully we needed the bucket anyways, but I don't I don't understand why the stones are not coming out of this field. Um, I'm not one for doing cheatsy cheatsy maneuvers, but um, there's no way that the rocks slash stones slash whatever should not be able to be picked from the field. So there is something has gone weird, and. We're just going to resolve it uh, using some some administrative tools. We're going to get all the rocks out of that bloody field. Um, 
I will zip a few hours ahead because we're going to pick the rocks by hand. Um, so I'll, I'll zip a few hours ahead from the actual role play of getting all these rocks picked up and out of here. And we'll bring you back when the field's all nice and clean, ready to rock and roll. All right, everybody. Here she is. <laughs> uh, all of the stones are gone. Uh, we're just in our rolled state. As we had plowed the field, we had rolled the field, so we just got rid of all the stones, so this will be good. Um, now we just need to decide what crop we're going to put in here. Um, I hadn't really given it any thought. Let's go and take a look at what we can actually plant in October. Uh, I guess we're down to just wheat and barley. I was thinking we might have gone with canola, but we're we're past that. So, um, I guess out of the two, let's take a look at some pricing and see. I think wheat is worth more than barley. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, and we're getting the prices on wheat are starting to climb. This is good. We're in October. We gotta wait till January to get the best money, but uh, but they're starting to climb. So I think that what we'll do is we'll we'll end up putting some wheat back into here. But before we start doing any of that, our grass is ready to harvest, but we're still only getting a 59% yield, and that's because we've got no fertilizer on it at any point during this process. So. Um, I think what we'll do is maybe we want to go drive through it and get some fertilizer on it. Is it going to make a difference? Um, what do we got? Where's the fertilized state? Oh, because I've got precision farming, I think that it changes... All this stuff, and you gotta look in the precision farming. Yeah. So here's where we can see our stuff, but we haven't bought any of our field info, so we don't know. You know what? We we found that uh, that gold bar that gave us five thousand dollars. So why don't we purchase the soil information on our two fields, so that we can we can get the maximum out of our. Uh, out of our fields here and know what we've got going on. So we can see here that it's it's not looking all that great. Probably below, both of them are probably below standard and need a lot of work. Now that we've bought the precision f information, we can go see. Oh, so it's actually reading okay for the sandy loam. So that's that's good. Let's go check out our other field, and see how it's looking. Well, the pH value is looking pretty good right now, but once we get a uh, crop in the ground, it'll tell us whether it's good or not. But I like the yield potential on this field now that we've bought our information and we know it's looking good. Um, Yeah, I think that uh, I think that we're we're in good shape. So why don't we grab our tractor? We'll grab our mower and we'll chop all this down, and we'll get ready to uh, get our silage bales replaced because we sold them all off in the last episode to make some money. So let's uh, let's pick up our grass cutting equipment. I think I still have it stuck over here. It's been a long time <laughs> since I've used it. Yeah. So we'll get hooked up to the mower. We'll uh, we'll cut that grass and then we'll we'll windrow it and we'll get it all bailed up and uh, start working on some silage here because we are definitely going to need more money because we want to buy that other field that uh, is next to the ones we currently have. 
Oh, this is such a tight area. I did this all. No, turn the other way, brain. There we go. It's way too early in the morning to be recording farm sim. <laughs> Can't figure out which direction I need to turn to. Uh... Oh yes, I've got my friggin' grain trailer there. Ay ay ay. Got too many things parked in too many spots that uh, I keep forgetting about. But now we should be good. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that gate closed. Don't want to leave anything open here. My main gate's okay, but keep everything else nice and tidy and closed up. I think our next uh, our next thing to possibly uh, invest in is. A front mower so that we can uh, get ourselves some much much more efficient grass cutting because right now we're just uh, using this one that hangs off to the side which is not very efficient because we get to leave this nice path right beside us or right in front of us, sorry. So I think a front mower would be beautiful to add on to the list and uh, make things so much more efficient for us. So I hope I'm still on my field. <laughs> the joys of cutting grass next to a meadow where it's all the same. I mean, it's it's different because the meadow's got weeds in it, but you know what I mean. Sometimes it's difficult for me to see the edge of the field where the nice grass is and the other grass quits. Um, <clears throat> mostly due to the fact that when you get a little bit of shade in this game, everything starts to look the same to the guy who can't tell the difference between all these colors. <laughs> ah, well, what you gonna do? Okay, we're gonna jump into a time lapse and we're gonna get this field cut and then we'll uh, move on to the next step of getting everything bailed and then getting it all stacked up into our loft. So we'll get this buzz through real quick.
Alright folks, well we just finished up getting all this grass windrowed. Well, it's ready to pick up for some silage. Um, the problem is, as I'm sure you can see, um, the sun has set. It is very, very dark outside. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to park the equipment and go have a little snooze and call it a day. But uh, yeah, we didn't quite get as much done as I was hoping we'd get done today, but we did get all the rocks out of our one field so it's ready for some crop and we got uh, all of our grass cut so we're ready for making some silage which is good because we're gonna need a lot more money because uh, as we had discussed at the beginning of the episode here uh, I definitely want to expand the farm, buy some land. I don't know how much this costs. Let's uh, click on it and see. Oh, 72,000 bucks. So uh, the nice thing is, is that with our 52 silage bales that we made last time, if we can get the same yield or higher, uh, we should be able to afford that piece of land after... Uh, after one little series of uh, of silage making and selling here, so uh, hopefully things will go well. We can get the same amount of bales, and we can get that piece of land purchased. Not quite back far enough. There we go. Because the more land, the merrier. Yeah, we, uh, we need to definitely be expanding the farm so we can get some more crop make some more profits and uh, maybe even look at uh, as I said expanding some animals doing something other than just the pigs um, let's actually take a closer look at what that land all entails here so let me get the tractor parked we'll just park it right here beside our other tractor well, behind And let's take a little stroll over here and see what this field entails here. I think when we pick up this field, we are going to essentially have this little spot we were looking at maybe putting up another shed. We can kind of claim this as ours. I know that we don't own the road and the, the land that the road is on, but uh, we'll just claim it anyways. What do we got in here? Oh, we got some barley. That's a nice crop, and it's a good size field. We've got uh, two and a half acres. So half the size of our current wheat field, but, you know, every little acre counts at the end of the day. Uh, one other thing I want to check, since we're standing here, let's just go look and see how many pallets of tomatoes we've got. I know we had two, we might be up to three. We are beautiful. So next episode, we will do the baling and uh, get the silage starting to ferment. We'll sell off our tomatoes, but I realize now that by going to the next episode, the next day, we're not going to be able to plant our wheat in, our, in the ground. So uh, I think what we're going to have to do is we'll just do field prep. So we'll get some lime on there if it needs it. We'll get some fertilizer on there if it needs it. We'll sell off our tomatoes. We'll get our silage going. We're definitely going to have to get some water for the greenhouse. We're probably going to have to get some more food for our pigs. We got lots and lots and lots of stuff to do in the next episode. So we'll definitely tackle all of that when the time comes. But I think for now we're going to wrap this one up and uh, go grab a sleep. And we'll see you guys back in November. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed the episode today and definitely looking forward to the next one. And I hope that we will see you out on the next one. But until then, take care, everybody. <laughs>